While Scott Demore and Mike Tenay in particular on the booking team are getting high marks from a lot of veterans who normally haven't been impressed by the booking of the company, they are unhappy with this being the company's strongest point ever and best chance of making it with the old school wrestling games still being played. So they're like, verge of being great, uh, but Jeff Jarrett's still fucking around. <laughs> Jeffrey. In particular, there was major heat with Jeff Jarrett and Waltman, Conan, and Ron Killings that Frank Dickerson <laughs> had to smooth over. Basically, there is the booking committee of Demore, Tanay, Bill Banks, JB, and Dutch Mantel, which, like, Borash and Dutch being the Jarrett guys, and the rest trying to book a good wrestling program. <laughs> but the, uh, above them is the executive committee, which is Dickerson, Carter, and Jarrett. <laughs> you already laughed at Dickerson. You can't laugh at it twice. <laughs> It's just such a funny word. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's the executive committee that has veto power over the booking committee if they don't like what they're doing. Conan, not happy. So there's a long-term idea that they were going to break up the Tree Live crew and put Conan with Apollo and Shocker as a Latin trio. <laughs> <coughs> the famous Latin American exchange of Conan, Apollo, and Shocker. <laughs> Just imagining, like, the LAX presentation with that trio. 5158, nothing to mess with, Liam. Oh, great. You will see some iterations of LAX. They don't come out of the gate with Homicide and Hernandez. No one remembers All the right. other iterations, but... All right. So the problem being that if they split Conan off with his potential Latin American exchange, uh, killings would have absolutely nothing to do and fade into oblivion. Conan did ask for a, a certain Homicide to be brought in for the group. I like Homicide. That's my opinion. Conan argued that it served no purpose to break him and Killings up right after the angle where BG James would have broken off to go with Kip unless they had a good idea for Killings. They ended up in a hotel room arguing with Jared over it and Jared apparently called Killings some unpleasant names. Mm. According to this Wrestling mm -hmm. Observer report. It almost got ugly. Jared, when uh, Killings asked what the plans were for him, gave the answer. There's only 45 minutes on a TV show every week and you can't feature everyone, which is the answer everybody wants to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like seven of them are good. Mm. <laughs> so you should probably feature them. And Jared does take 25 minutes of it, so. But then are any of the Tree Alive crew minutes ever good? I mean, no, but we're breaking them up. <laughs> <laughs> that answer made Killings mad because then he's like, what's the point of breaking me and Conan up if I'm just going to do nothing? Uh, LAX. <laughs> Killings suggested the idea of forming a team with Jeff Hardy, knowing that Hardy, no matter how many no-shows he does, is always guaranteed a strong position, but Jarrett didn't like that idea. I actually do like that team. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they work together, don't they? That's a good vibe. Yeah, it's a good vibes team. Mm, others have apparently suggested that team too, but Jarrett doesn't like it. Apparently Conan threatened to quit if they were broken up, and then Waltman nearly walked out before the paper over his own issue, saying that he would be professional and put over Lynn clean and leave. He also complained that he and Lynn were only being given 10 minutes and they eventually got bumped up to 15. He apparently, he has some contract issues and he doesn't want to sign a contract and they want him to sign a contract. Mm. And then there's like a whole thing about how he was apparently asked to sign a contract while he was at TV and didn't have an agent to look over his contract. <laughs> he has to talk to Monty and get Barry Bloom's number again. And <laughs> so there are some issues with that as well. It's like, I feel like these are all things that Waltman would have let slide had there not been a gigantic spike deal just announced mm. <laughs> they would have been like yeah whatever we can just work it and then work it out later but now he's like hmm tv perhaps actual money coming in let's yeah. get someone to look over this contract you give me your tv money i know what's happening here um waltman is a guy who knows what's on <laughs> he has been th through this rodeo many times before yeah uh, so yeah three live crew and killings are and waltman even are not happy with jared in particular <laughs> Everyone else seems pretty happy with everyone else on the booking committee. Yeah, if only they were just allowed to book their good TV shows. 